What is it that makes a place scary? Is it the unexpected? Is it the unknown? Among the lush rolling hills in the beautiful English countryside area known as the Cotswolds is an imposing 19th century manor house known as Woodchester Mansion. Some have speculated that local witches cast a dark spell over the house, and some believe this curse has destroyed lives and been responsible for strange and horrible deaths. Is the curse of Woodchester Mansion real? Members of an American family, the James of Philadelphia, will spend a night trying to unravel the secrets of Woodchester. Will it be the experience of a lifetime, or will it become a nightmarish descent into the unknown? Woodchester Mansion stands isolated in a valley. It's at the edge of the Cotswolds in the south of England. Now, the rich and often terrifying history of the Cotswolds is steeped in witchcraft. The mansion was erected, but it was never completed. It's just not a very hospitable place. And although nobody's ever lived at the mansion, some say it's a place where forbidden ceremonies have been practiced and are still carried out in the dead of night. Any family that comes to Woodchester is in danger. I am a little concerned where they would send us. Why? Because some places have demonic things around it. That's why they call it scariest place on earth. <laughs> Who in their right mind would travel around the world to confront something as dark and dangerous as this? My name is Dolores, and I run Nana's Daycare, which is my own, and it's basically run for my grandchildren. Lakeisha, my baby, she got us on into this, uh, and uh, she's just flamboyant, <laughs> my baby. I'm a staff technician. I'm also a mother of one. It was my idea and my mother's. We believe in the paranormal, and... Um, my brother's a little skeptical, and we thought that it would be a good idea to put him in a situation. I'm definitely hands down a skeptic. I'm not. I'm not a believer in any of it or anything like that. My son Frederick, uh, he is thinks he's the patriarch of the family. I'm a student, and I'm also a partner here at Platinum Cuts Barbershop. I know going on this trip, I'm going to have to be the backbone. When things really get shaky, I'm going to have to hold everybody up. And then um, this Tamika. My knee baby, she's scared of cat. Yes, I am. I'm totally afraid. I don't know what to expect. And Kimberly, my right hand person. Kimberly is wise for her age, has great wisdom. I'm a business manager in human resources. I have had a couple of experiences, so I do believe. I want to see a spirit. I really do. I want to come in contact with a spirit. There's no doubt spirits walk the Cotswolds. They've been summoned there by practitioners of the occult. The area itself has always been a center for occult practice. Earth, my body, water, my blood. People seem to believe that witches only exist in ancient history. Magic is still done here. This is witchcraft central. Some places are inherently magical. The Cotswolds are very magical also cut off a little bit you know you can get quite a long way from roads in the Cotswolds in those little villages there will be people sneaking out in a full moon and um, doing rituals that none of us know about there are lots of witches in this area there are loads the land is very receptive to magic but even in the Cotswolds those who practice magic were often misunderstood the pentagram in witchcraft were linked with the devil by people who traditionally link anything that's alien and strange with the devil, and neither of them has anything to do with it. You have to remember that the accusation of witchcraft is a very dangerous thing. In England, witches are hanged. The trouble is that the people who hanged human beings uh, three, four hundred years ago didn't know about uh, breaking necks, so people choked to death very slowly. It's quite a torturing way to die. They would be hung on public gallows, and crowds would watch. Um, there were some burnings, um, but remember the torture was, was so horrific that most of them were half dead, if not completely dead, before uh, they ever got that far. Some say the worst atrocities were committed in Woodchester Valley, 
on the very ground where that mansion stands. The witches had plenty to seek revenge about. There have been curses placed upon this place. Dark magic is when you look into the deepest, the darkest and the most unpleasant aspects of life. Sometimes you have to go into the dark places. The places where the crow eats the roadkill. The Cotswolds, England, 5.15 p.m. <laughs> you so made the now. decision, you're on the bus, and we're rolling. How do you feel? How do you feel, Mom? You better be praying. <laughs> <laughs> you better be praying. No, I feel like I'm, I'm sad until we actually get there, wherever we're going, until we actually get there, and then that's the nervousness will kick in. That's yeah. not the just like that's you. Because then you you're, you're, you're actually, actually there. there. <laughs> <laughs> you <better be> there. <laughs> Sunset. Three miles from Woodchester Mansion. Witchcraft has been a religious belief for 4,000 years, and yet people seem to think that they're going to go in and experience this strange game. It isn't a game. They've got no idea what they're getting into. Coming up next. Some people say thousands of people died on this site. Ah! I would want to spend the night here. Come on, let's go back. The overwhelming feeling was of sadness. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at that hair. Oh, my God. Wow, dear bird. You make me scared. People say the Woodchester Mansion can't be that bad. It's that bad. The pain the suffering and the agony that Woodchester has experienced for thousands of years festers there. It waits for you. The mansion is a mystery and, and a riddle, and the most mysterious thing about it is why it was abandoned in the 1870s, which is only 130 years ago. From an architectural point of view, it's fascinating. Emotionally, it's a very strange, possibly unpleasant, frightening place as well. People find Worcester Mansion a time capsule. It's very much the Mary Celeste of architecture, Mary Celeste being the ship that sails the seas forever with no crew. The mysterious mansion was built by an equally mysterious man. William Lee, about whom we don't really know enough, was looking for a special kind of home and tried to adapt this valley to his own religious purposes. Now, many believe that Lee was involved in occult practice and that he was trying to use this precise spot as a house that could attract spirit. I certainly don't feel that the soul of the man who's building this house is at rest at all. He's communicating with me now. He was un undone by his attraction to the darker side of life. It doesn't surprise me that Woodchester was never completed. It was abandoned suddenly. And for what reason, nobody knows, really. But in the years that followed, the empty house had visitors. Many practitioners of dark magic, evil forces, evil magic, would regularly use unfinished buildings for their sacrilegious practices. You can have entities that are produced because of black magic. And it is possible things like that went on in Woodchester Mansion. Some say these dark entities share the mansion with the spirits of those who died here. The altar room. I drew a picture of a 14-year-old boy. The overwhelming feeling was of sadness. He had an accident. He maybe fell off the ladder. The soldier's dormitory. There were soldiers staying there in the 1940s. They were practicing their D-Day landings and they had a pontoon bridge on the lake and it's quite a deep lake, in fact, very deep. 
and the bridge collapsed and 20 or so soldiers died, drowned there. The laboratory. In the laboratory, there are artifacts, clues to what happened here. Witches know how to trap spirits in bottles. These so-called witch bottles have been placed in the room with the spirits of the dead languishing inside. Dark magic is still practiced in Woodchester Mansion. Yeah, this place is contained with jewels. It smells like burnt feathers. There's something quite unsettling about the whole place. Ritual murder is what I sense. It feels like a concentrated spot of darkness. If you came into a place like this, where dark forces had not been cleaned up, you would be in danger. This is a place where you get manhandled by unseen forces. Woodchester's unique. It's a building that wants to kill you. Mom, I swear this makes me feel like I'm in the army all over again, like uh, I'm no, a scout. I th one thing, let me tell you something. When you walk in that house, you ask your God to go ahead of you. I you already know. did. We done protect you everybody. Did. You already did it? I already, you already did got my it. Sentiment, because we don't know what we're running into. What is that? Oh, oh there it is right there. Oh, man, this sucker is big. That place is huge. ask you to say to me, guard my mind, guard my body, guard my spirit. Guard my mind, guard my body, guard my spirit. Guard my mind, guard my body, guard my spirit. Guard my mind, guard my body, guard my spirit. You're now in a ritual shelter used on this site by witches for the past century. Since construction of Woodchester was abandoned 150 years ago, few people have dared set foot in this building. Soon you will venture into the mansion yourself, at the center of all that is evil. But first, you must take part in a ritual to summon the unseen forces that are here. There is a spirit guide that assists us. Come. Oh, no, no, no. You must take it. No. 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 I'm, we're petrified of snakes. <laughs> oh, no. Tammy, come on. No. I, I will grab it. I will grab it. You must oh, take it. Freddy. These are your spirit guides. Come on. Come on. Ready now. Come on. I'm scared. I'm just as afraid as anybody over no. here with a snake or anything else. It won't be too much. I'm scared. No. Just hold on to it. Put it in your hand. No. Kim, this is this is the test of your life. I know it's Put the you, test. And that's what I mean. You're going to let this control you? You're being controlled. Somebody come with me. I need somebody to go with me now. I'm going with you. Come on, Keisha. I'm come going on. with you. Tammy. Ooh. I will hold him. Keisha, oh, no. Keisha, take him in your hand. Keisha, take right, him in I'm your hand. I'm going to take you like in my did. hand. Keisha, I got him. I got him. Relax. He should breathe. Take deep breaths. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. Mom, if you cry, let it go ahead and cry. But you take that snake in your hand. Take that snake in your hand. Oh, my God. <laughs> mommy, it's go ahead. Right. Mommy, it's mommy, okay. mommy, it's okay if you cry. Just take that. I'm conquered my fear. Look, look, mommy, look, look, overcome I'm not happy about mommy, this. overcome your fear now, because if you don't, it will not. I'm not happy. Take I'm not, nobody's excited. He's calm. He's calm. He's this, calm. Mommy, this little guy. Look, mommy, you know what kind of snakes they are? Just to be right. There's far more worse things in life than a snake. Than a snake. Trust me. Oh, my God. There you go. It's not you next, Tammy. Come on. I don't care if you cry the whole time. Tammy, you have to. You have to. Tammy, you have to. You can do you anything have you, to. you can do mind. anything. Yeah. Tammy, take this snake just like this. I'm holding oh. it for you calmly. <laughs> Oh my God! Tammy. I don't like the feeling on my hand. Tammy, of it. it doesn't feel like anything, baby. <sighs> Just Tammy, they're pythons. They don't, I don't care what they. There you go. Yes. Oh my God! Yes, I don't like baby. the feel on my Tammy, hand. Tammy, <laughs> you, Tammy, you have to. You have to. You can do anything, Tammy. I'm gonna pass out. Here, Tammy, Tammy, you pass out. Uh, all right. Tammy, we've come way too all right. far. All right. I know we did. That's what I mean. Scared. I know you're scared, but embrace your fear. It's not gonna uh, kill you. Am I dead? Look, no. look, look at. Is anybody dead here? Give me your hand. Let let your big brother take you. Grab and close your eyes. Grab him and close, close your, your eyes. eyes. Just close your eyes close and grab him. You got him. Look at that. It didn't kill you. Now use your serpent guides to invoke the forces that surround you. 
darksome night and shining moon. Darksome night and shining moon. East then south and west then north. East then south and west then north. Hearken to the witch's room. Hearken to the witch's room. Here we come to call you forth. Here we come to call you forth. Now your heads will be ceremonially shrouded. You will be taken to five places here at Woodchester Mansion. Five points signifying a ritual pentagram. This is intended to put you in touch with the four powers of nature. The fifth location represents your search for spirit. Coming up next. Something is growling down here. Ah! Did you hear the child? Oh my god. Ah! Ah! I have major activity up here. Woodchester Mansion sits dark and isolated in a small valley in the English countryside. No one has voluntarily spent the night inside the mansion since American GIs were housed there during World War II. For the last half century, Woodchester Mansion has stood empty and abandoned. Until now. table where they might have been working on people. I wonder what they do with these tools. No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't want to know. I don't want, want to know. Look at this stuff up here. Oh, snap. What is that hanging up there? <laughs> wow, dead bird. What purpose did a dead bird serve? That is just nasty, nasty, nasty. All right, we're gonna do this, Keisha. Um, right here, it looks like there's some signing on the door here. That looks like a snake. This one right here in particular. Tamika and Kimberly decide to explore together. It's like a hospital room. No, this is like a medic room they had. Really cold through here. The spirit of life knows not of time. Our souls live on forever. Come out of the dark, all who are here, and let us join together. Oh my god, that chandelier went ballistic. I have major activity up here. I got some too. There's activity in here. Say what? There is something down here talking to me. I'm in the basement. This is not cool. I heard like a, a laughter. Yeah. Did you, did you hear? You hear a child. I think we hear the child crying up here, Mom. Something is growling down here. Something is making noises. Please come and get your mug. The James family uses paranormal detection equipment as their investigation continues. A thermal camera is used to capture temperature changes on videotape. A laser thermometer will indicate extreme jumps in room temperature. A magnetometer will be used to measure electromagnetic disturbances. Finally, dowsing rods are ancient witches' tools. Should they ever cross, this is a sign of extreme spirit activity. It's okay. Nothing but fear, but fear itself. 
And I got activity, Mom. So, but I didn't open the door yet. I know, it's out here already. We're disturbing the space. It's okay, but just open the door. Mm. Oh, you can get up. Okay, 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 okay. There's a lot of activity going on here, Mom. Sure. They're crossing really bad. That thing is moving, the thing is moving. The bird is moving by itself. <laughs> is there anybody in here? Okay, the rods are crossing, Mom. So that means yes. Okay. Were you tortured in this house? Yes, Mom, the crossing. You get the rods crossing? I see it, I see it, I see it. There is something here, it's cold, look. 13? It's 13 degrees, it's cold. And the other room was 54. Oh my God, it's going down some. Huh? Oh, oh shit. Ducky, ducky. You hear that noise? Uh-huh. I hear you. We hear you. Talk. We ain't gonna mess with you. Yeah. We just got something to do. That's all. All due respect. Right here. Something's here. Look, look how cold it is. 15? It was just right 16 here. something's there. The reading's going down. There's an activity going on. There's a presence of someone and something. Here. But I found something. I don't like that noise. You need her. Freaking me out, whispering and stuff. Oh my God! Oh, oh, Tammy, get against the wall. No, nothing. Get against the wall. That's all you got to do. Get against the wall. Ah! Oh! Don't leave me, please. I'm not gonna leave you. You making me scared. Um, hello. Yeah, little Freddy. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I'm gonna be doing a lot of talking to y'all because I'm going all the way up here by myself. Okay. All right, we're gonna be here for you. Oh, oh. Oh my God. There's something putting water in the bathtub. I gotta go look. I gotta go look. Oh, I'm sweating up a storm. Oh my God. Little Freddy, can't you turn the water off? Mommy, the house was never finished, so obviously there's no faucets, no handles, no nothing. The water just comes in and out when it wants to. Whoa. Heat change. Oh my goodness. It's giving off heat. Major heat activity up here. This tub ain't had no water in it, now it's full. Oh, that water is shaking too, you see the water? It's bones and stuff in here, y'all, look. Let me see. There are bones in there. They had a, a ritual in here. It's a lot of activity going on here. This is crossing really bad. Yeah. Are you a female? Yes. Oh, wow. It's a female. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Are you a witch? No. Oh, yes, she is. Mm -hmm. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Are you trying to give us a message? Yes. Mm. Yes. Did they kill you in this bathroom? She's been killed here. She's been killed here. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, Lord. I've never been as scared in my life. Coming up next. There's something in this room. <laughs> Did you hear the child? I'm not going back in that room. I am not going back in that room. It's after midnight, and inside Woodchester Mansion, the James family has sensed what they believe is a strange and mysterious presence. Is the presence real? Is it all in their imagination? Has fear taken hold of the family, and are they beginning to wonder if they can make it through the night? Finish this building? No. This is the room that something be falling around in all the time. And I don't know what it is. Did you hear the child? That's that 12-year-old child. It's Mommy, Kim, how you doing? 
We're doing fine. We just having some kid up here laughing and carrying on. Okay, I caught you. I catch you. Okay, child. Hello. Hello. The child's playing. He's not crying. So he's the one knocking stuff down. Children are very mischievous. Say with me. Tammy, I'm right next door. See that? Right here. Yes, yes, you're all right. Keisha, okay, there's no real activity going on here. I'll see what I mean. It's okay, it's all right. It's not okay. Relax, relax. Oh my God. I'm out of here now. Tammy, no. No, I have to go. I'll meet Freddie. Tammy, hold steady. I can't see. I'm trying to read the beds. Huh? See if there's anything in the beds. Oh, oh my. But I have okay. to feel now I'm not alone in this room. Something's there. <sighs> oh, see, there's that okay. baby's voice again. It's I'm out of here. I'll see you later. What is holding you here? Can you stop talking to stuff now? That's enough. Tammy, relax. Freddie, oh my God. Freddie, are you ready for me to come down? Tammy, just give it a couple more minutes and I'll come and get you. Come and get me now. I hear the voices again. Tammy, you're going to hear the voices. I will come and get you in a minute, okay? Now. You need to get into the white light. Kisha, you stop talking to those people. There's nothing here for you. I know you are harmed here. See what I mean? All right. Oh my God. Exactly. Keisha, stop it. Relax. Here. Hey, hey. she's she's in here talking to the like spirits. Knocking it's, things it's over is out. not going to help anything. Oh my God. You can laugh. You can do those things. But you See, know I hear, what? Oh my God. I'm coming in here. Keep Tammy? No. no, not Tammy. Not this. Stop calling things up now. Stop. I'm not calling the things up. You're calling stuff. I'm you not going to. back in that room. I am not going back in that room. Tammy, listen to me. You will stop talking to stuff. Tammy, you need to talk to it makes me feel better when I talk I to Oh, I hear people. noises in here. I want you. Hey. No, something's right here. Something's right here. I feel really scared. It's still coldness. Do Relax. Yes, yeah, okay. Investigate. Come on. I'm investigating it now. Look at my breath. Look at this. There's yeah. something in this room. Look at this witches. By knocking, I know you're here. I sense your presence. Ah! Ah! Oh, shoot! Get me out of here right now! <laughs> it's okay. Oh. It's all right. <sighs> Friday now, come and get me. Tammy, oh, listen to me. I'm on my way to your location. I'm in a room with Keisha now. I'm too scared to go into another room again. Then stay where you are. Stay put. Something's in here. I can feel the change of I the want stuff. you to Tammy, I'm on my way. No, I hear you. Now. You're not frightened. I don't know where to go. Spirit. Stop, Stop it, Keisha. Talking to those people. You gotta talk to. You're them. getting them all worked up. Stuff is blowing up. And keep me out of here now. You hear me coming towards you? No, I don't hear you. Help me, or, Tammy. Please. Don't let me out. Tammy, oh. she's gonna. Tammy, Tammy. Tammy. That's all right, right. Tammy. Tammy. Well, Tammy, you're coming with me. Where are we going to now? We gotta go to base. Tell me if you get any if you get any kind of oh, heat, if you get any kind of heat breathing. Try that table. What do you get from that table? Okay. 66, 67. Come on. 67, 68 going up, like right around here. See, this room is something's in this right now. What do you want from us? Now he's getting angry. I know, but stand here beside me. Something's in this room. Coming up next. You have awakened the forces. Serpent, serpent, serpent eye. Whatever you are, leave us alone. That you walking like that? Ah! In that room I was in, I didn't know there was so much activity in that room. I'd have been shaking in my boots. That place is haunted. I'm sorry. It is. You have awakened the forces within this house. Now you must face your worst fears by returning to the mansion to challenge what you have found there. Before entering, gather strength by anointing yourself with the powers of the earth. 
Anoint yourself with the element of earth, that you may know its wisdom. Now you must all empower yourselves with the energy from the spirit guides. I take the serpent power within. I slide, I slither, I slough my skin. Your serpent guides may have the power to see beyond the world that you know. Let them lead you to the spirit energy that resides in the darkest corners of Woodchester Mansion. Then, find the room with the worst activity and recite a chant to summon the forces that are there. Serpent, serpent, what do you see? Be my guide, protect me. I cannot see, but serpent, you are on my eyes. Do you see anything that would harm me? I hear you. I hear you. I'll be all right. It's nervous. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Okay, Mr. Snake, give us courage. No. Something's down in this room. What is it? Something. Coin the snake got his turn. What is it? What do you want? Something's moving. Okay. Who's that walking like that? Okay. Little Freddy, is that you walking like that? No, Mommy, I'm in the basement. Kimberly, is that you walking like that? No, I'm still. Do you hear that? What do you want? God, please put a gold white protection around me. Oh, God, sacred friend, help me. <laughs> you leave me alone, whatever it is. <laughs> What do you want from me? You're gonna be just fine, Tamika. <laughs> Leave us alone. Peace, be still. What do you want? All that jumping and stomping ain't gonna get your answer. But you trying to scare us to death is not gonna get what you want. So your mind will chill. You want something, you asked us. What's the oh, stop it right now. Whatever you are, leave us alone. You're not gonna run us out. I'm staying, if you like it or not. The James family is drawn to the altar room. Is that the room? Yeah, right here. This room was a fire. Wait a minute, there's a bag. Mm -mm -mm. This is a World War II gas man. Soldiers must have been here occupying this place or using it at some time during the war. Maybe, you know what? Something must have happened bad here to soldiers. Maybe, Maybe it was gas. Yeah, Maybe was some gas. Yes. So, I mean. Maybe they use them in that little gas. Remember the chair down Maybe there? The chain? Calm down a little bit here. Calm down. What do you want us to do? You want us to investigate your death? Is that it? So you can have closure? What do you want? Listen, you hear that? What do you want? Leave. You said leave. I heard that. Leave, clear. leave. We can't leave yet. No, come on, mom. We got it. Let's chant this. Let's chant this. Ready? One, two, three. Serpent, serpent, serpent eye. They can't see you, so have I. Serpent, serpent, serpent eye. They can't see you, so can I. Serpent, serpent, serpent eye. They can't see you, so can I. Yeah. Reveal yourself. Coming up next. Where are you guys at? Keisha, come with me and let's move. 
There's got to be another door. Think, everybody, think. Can't you hear? I swear, I'm leaving it here now. Your journey is not yet over. Your actions may have unleashed paranormal forces that must not be left unchecked. A purification ritual is called for. These blessed runes have been used for centuries to fend off spirits of the dead. They may help you to free your own spirits from what is here and prevent the forces of Woodchester following you when you leave. Place them in the rooms where you have felt the worst disturbances. Let's hope this will close the portal you have opened into the other world. God, help me. I don't want to be here by myself a year. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. Freddy, oh my God. I hear noises somewhere. I got stuff moving around in my room, and if you don't think I'm scared, then you got another thing coming. All right, don't tell me any more scary stuff. I want this to be over. Kim, I'm you know where the kitchen is? I can't get out. I'm coming. You sure you're in the kitchen? Damn, you ain't in the kitchen. Well, I'm in somewhere. I don't know where I am. Where's this? This is the kitchen. Yeah, she's not in here. Oh my god, this is crazy. Oh, don't start it. Come hurry up and come and get me. Okay, Tammy, hold on. Freddie, can you get me? I don't know where you are. I'm moving. Keisha, come with me and let's move. Come on, this is teamwork. Hey, Freddie, we're on our way. Who's coming to get me out? We're trying everything, trust That's me. That's right, baby. We're trying everything. There's got to be another door. Think, everybody, think. Oh, my God. Look <laughs> at that hair. Oh, my Get me out of here right now, please. Tammy, everybody's just as nervous and scared as you is. Where are you guys at? Can't you hear me? I swear, I'm leaving. Purification ritual may cleanse the James family of Woodchester's dark forces. Each of you must pick up one of the symbolic figures, then use the scissors to cut pieces of fingernails and hair from your body. <gasps> Get a big piece, rip it down so it's small to grow back. Yes. You must each insert your fingernail fragments and hair into your wax figure so that it represents your spirit. Then, one by one, hurl your wax figure into the fire and watch it burn. Repeat after me. All bone can be broken. All bone can be broken. All blood will clot. All blood will clot. All hearts stop beating. All hearts stop beating. All flesh will rot. All flesh will rot. Accept our tribute. Accept our tribute. And set us free. And set us free. And so forth towards our destiny. And so forth towards our destiny. Blessings be. Blessings be. Did you witness, feel anything, see anything? It's just a feeling of a presence. 
explain that. You don't have to always see something. You can you can just feel, even with your eyes closed, you can feel someone standing there. You can just a feeling of it. And, and I, there were times I was scared. The telephone, oh my God, that freaked me out. Right here, something's here. What about you, madam? I felt sad. There was like a heaviness there. I just felt sorry for the people. I really did what they went through. I know in that um, dormitory room, which was kind of like a hospital room, I definitely know soldiers laid there and died miserable deaths. And for that, that's why you're going to get all that growling and that grunting and all that anger, because that's just anger. You just sense like there's some kind of anger in that house. There's anger. Maybe the house should be torn down and something ceremonially needs to be done. It needs to be settled. There's a lot of lost souls that are dwelling within this valley, within this house, within the land around it. And I feel as though some of the witches want revenge. There's something going on with that house. Something. I can't, can't tell you what, because I don't have the knowledge or the experience, but there's something obviously there. Once you've seen spirit, you can't help yourself but see more. And when you're lying alone in your darkened room late at night and your head's filled with the horror that you've gone through, it'll remain with you for all time. You can never be the same again. So what is it that makes a place scary? Is it the feeling that comes from an unsettling experience with dark, unseen forces? For the James family, perhaps scary is not knowing with certainty whether they will continue to be affected by the encounters they've had in the quaint English countryside. I'm Linda Blair. Good night.